Hi, Stephen from Own or Disown. Today I'm going to be looking at a hard drive dock that connects by USB 3. A company called WeMe sent me their dock and I was quite excited to take a look at it because what sets it apart from the, the rest of the pack um, was uh, something called uh, you know offline cloning. So you don't need uh, another PC to hook it up to to clone one drive to another. You just need to power it up, put the two drives in and you can do a clone. Now that could be useful if you're out remotely you don't have your computer about it does need powering up but if you've got access to an um, electricity supply you can do that so if you want to back up some large files that is pretty handy and uh, to be honest you know for content creators video files are uh, large files and I often offload my um, large video files to a, a, you know like a three inch four terabytes uh, drive for instance so you want one that works quite fast. Now it does connect by um, USB 3 interface, so its uh, peak speeds would be um, up to about four, I mean, up to five gigabits per second. Um, but of course, it accepts both two and a half inch and three inch drives, and it has uh, has two slots. Now, what you get in the box is um, the drive, of course. You get the USB 3 cable and the power cable plus the user manual. And around the back, you have uh, the of course USB port the power slot and an on off switch. So to clone the drive, um, you uh, put the two uh, drives you want to clone in. Now the one you want to clone um, the clone is to put at the back and the target drive you put at the front, you know, so slot A for the uh, cloned, uh, for the drive you want to clone and slot B for the, the, the target to drive. Now the target drive does need to be either the same size or larger obviously than the one you're trying to clone. And then you just press uh, the clone button Press it for three seconds and uh, press it one more time and then you will be able to start the cloning process. And it's got a convenient uh, um, percentage indicators on the left hand side going from 25% to 100% once it's finished. And I was uh, looking to uh, clone a, uh, a SanDisk Extreme um, SATA SSD here. I was cloning it onto a regular spinning disk. And uh, that process, you know, it was a 150 gigabytes window OS drive took uh, about 43 minutes to do, which wasn't too bad. Now, there's no uh, uh, facility to check for, uh, for errors like you would do on like a software approach, but for a quick and easy um, cloning method, I do recommend it. Now, I also wanted to uh, test to see how it would perform compared to other, you know, docks. Now, what I had available was uh, my Ineo USB 3 drive uh, dock there. And one I actually reviewed before, which accepts only two and a half inch disks, is the uh, the Oracle uh, drive. Now, this was pretty good. I liked it at the time. And of course, it's self-powered by the USB um, port there. The WeMe, um, using the SanDisk X, uh, Extreme SSD, and we got uh, write speeds of 417 megabytes per second and write speeds of 204. Now, um, looking at the Oracle dock, and we got uh, 303 read and 124 write. And trailing in last was this rather hopeless um, Ineo dock, um, which uh, has read speeds of 211 and write speeds of, 20, uh, of 98. So, you know, this thing, I meant to ditch it a while ago, but I think I'm definitely gonna ditch it now. Um, so that was that, but I also want to test a real life situation. So for example, I've got a four gigabyte uh, uh, files I want to transfer back and forwards from my laptop, say, which uh, has a, a PCI Express SSD, and transfer it back and forwards to this uh, SATA SSD. The Wii Me dock, uh, the, the read speed, uh, the time taken was about it was 11 seconds. The Oracle dock was 14 seconds, and the Ineo dock came in last at 17 seconds. Now the write speeds, um, the Wii Me dock and the Oracle dock were pretty close, 27, 30 seconds. And the uh, Ineo dock was, you know, nearly double the speed, uh, double the time, 51 seconds. So, I think in all in all, I mean, it's, you know, it's competitively priced at $38. I do like that cloning uh, option. That's great, and it works pretty fast. It's, the facility is the fastest one I've got here, and of course, you can accept two uh, two drives. I think uh, it's going to be, you know, added to my stack of peripherals, which I want to use. Well, I hope you found that uh, useful. And of course, I've got a link in the description below. An Amazon affiliate link if you want to buy one of these. Only 38 bucks. Not bad. Thanks for watching. Bye.